My name is Mauricio Barrios, Neurosurgery Resident, and I am presenting in the 2021 International Web Basis Neurosurgery Congress the e poster called Minimally Invasive Surgery for Thoracic Spinal Metastasis Technical Mode. The spine is the most common site of metastasis, representing the 70% of all osseous metastasis. The thoracic spine is the most common level site about 60 to 80 percent, followed by lumbar and cervical level. In the management of spinal metastasis, there are particular goals essential for the surgeon, such as local tumor control, decompression of the spinal cord, recovery of the spine mechanical stability, pain control, achieving a general and fundamental goal, improved quality of life. The therapeutic decision is very complex due to the large number of variables to define the best management, decompressor or not, instrumentation or not, patient survive, functional state, is the tumor radiosensitive or radioresistant, will tolerate surgery. For this reason, the non framework is discussed in the last decade. But what is important to take into account when choosing the surgical technique? Firstly, is to have the surgical indication, either due to instability, high degree spinal compression, tumor location, risks of bleeding, or previous surgery. The latest advance in minimally invasive approach has transformed oncological surgery, offering advantages like reduction in hospital stay, muscle damage, postoperative pain, wood side infection, and interoperative blood loss, achieving an improvement in survival. Methodology. We present the case of a patient with thoracic spinal metastasis being managed with minimal invasive surgery. Case description. It's a 58 man with a history of clear cell renal carcinoma, previous nephrectomy without complementary cancer management, consultation for lumbar pain and lower limb weakness. He present a lesion at the T11 lip component with invasion of the left pedicle and vertebral body with high epidural compression seen in axial section, Bilski grade 3 without visible cerebral spinal fluid. Likewise, in the stability evaluation, we found scenes 11 with the addition of a mechanical component of pain. The oncology department defined a prognosis greater than 18 months. For this reason, the spinal surgery team defined a need for decompression, block resection, and arthrodesis. Pedicle exclude fixation are performed by conventional percutaneous technique to reverse above to level below the affected vertebrae, positioning the right bar, performing distraction maneuvers during the T11 corpectum. Left pedicle T11 is identified and the laterals are advanced. Self-static retractor is positioned adapted with a malleable arm to the surgical table. Fluoroscopic confirmation of positioning is performed. A light source is adapted as well as an optimal position to work with a microscope. And the size of the leaflets are adjusted to allow adequate mobility of the instrument. Show the positioning of the tool of separator and optimal window is provided to perform an adequate corpectomy and subsequent cylinder position. An AP and lateral IMAX is shown here, confirming good position. Postoperative IMAGIT achieving C9 and L1 transpedicular fixation with T11 block resection, preserving mechanical stability and spinal balance in AP and lateral view. Results. In our experience, we had a surgical time of approximately four hours with a blood loss of 2,200 millimeters, uh, 
hospitalization time of five days and the start of complementary cancer management one month after surgery. At the moment, our patient continues in an integral rehabilitation without presenting additional neurological deficits with adequate return to daily activities. Take home message. Why minimal invasive surgery? Minimally invasive surgery versus open approach in the compression and stabilization have the same results. Nevertheless, minimal invasive surgery offers less morbidity, lower perception of pain in erosion scales, lower rate of blood loss, and likewise shorter hospitalization time. Therefore, is a good option to consider in the management of spinal metastasis. Moreover, it allows the patient to start the complementary oncological therapy earlier, having a positive impact on their survival. Thank you.